So, I'm back. Hi, say hi to Aurora. Hey. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing a two-part first impressions. So, I have these new products to me. They're AOA Studio. And these are like a $1 company. And a lot of the things are vegan in them. And they're all cruelty-free. They all, if this is going to zoom in, have the little bunny logo on them. So they are all cruelty free and some of them are vegan. Um, I think this primer is vegan. And I don't know about this BB cream. But this is the combination I'm going to try today. So I'm going to do half of my face with primer and half with out. And all over with the BB cream. So we can see the primer actually makes a difference to their base product. Because they don't have like a foundation only this bb cream so we shall see how they all work together it's so weird to be sitting down and doing like a proper sit down video i haven't done one in like absolutely ages so we'll get on with it um so i'm going to take the one one skin this is the wonder skin perfecting blur primer i don't know if you're going to be able to tell through this packaging well, maybe, but there's tiny, like, little gold reflex in there. So I'm hoping it gives, like, a bit of an illuminating um, look. So I'm going to pop it on this half of my face because it's the most dry from this weather. Like, my skin's just gone mental. It can't cope. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to pop it on that side. I was looking to see if I had a headband, but I don't think I've unpacked one yet. So this is the primer, it's quite jelly in consistency and you can see that gold reflect in there. It feels like putting on just like any gel sort of product like a moisturiser. Sinks in nice. Yeah. Feels nice and light, doesn't feel heavy that's the primer I had to stop to feed little madam who's now asleep but will probably wake up because she can hear me talking so um yeah I'm gonna try the BB cream now so I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender I got the shade light um because fair looked way too fair so this looks dark though. So I'm going to apply some on both sides. And I'll see what happens. I need a mirror. Oops. I just kicked you. Oh, the clothes not bad actually. So, yeah, she's awake. So that's quite nice. It hasn't really done much, so let's try another layer on my cheeks where I've got some redness. Um, it blended like the same on both sides, so I don't think the primer makes a difference to application, but it might make a difference to how long it lasts. It layers nice. It's not going like heavy or cakey. It's in my dry inner corners, it looks, you know, not best, but nothing does any more in there. I think, oddly, it's layering on this side nicer. 
So maybe if you want to layer products, pass on the primer. But it does cover nicely, like, um, my pores and stuff. Hmm. I quite like that. So, I'll pop in throughout the day with how it looks and give some little updates. So, first update. Where is my mirror? Right. So, I do feel like it's oxidised a little bit. It's not quite the perfect match, but like from a distance, you can't really notice. Um, so, if you are super duper pale, go with like the porcelain. Oh. If it's the lightest option, light will probably still work. I feel like it works. It's not too obvious. It might just be the blush that I put on that's like distracting me and making me think my face looks darker than it is. It uh, looks okay on my pores. It hasn't like really sunk in anywhere yet. Okay, baby. Yeah. Um, it hasn't really sunk in anywhere yet. I'm gonna use my super duper magnifying one. Um. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put mascara on. What a dope am I? I've done like whole videos and I've not got mascara on. What an umpty. <laughs> what a professional. Yes. Close inspection. It is settling a tiny bit in my fine lines. Um, obviously I've got a magnifying mirror so you can, so I can see it. You probably can't see it just looking at me. My pores on the prime side do look better, but that's all the differences I can see for now. So, I forgot to check in at all for this um but i don't know if you can see but around my face it's sort of collected in certain areas um especially on my cheeks this is what was on the non prime side on the prime side it's not so much on the dry bits but it has like almost completely worn off But from a distance I'd still say it looks fine so yeah I haven't gone overly shiny or anything so quite good for a couple of hours where if you want it long time all day sort of thing this foundation is not for you 